kill. Six ninety nine. <laughs> unlimited breadsticks. <laughs> unlimited salad. Unlimited soup. Toscana. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> this is LRA Start, and today we're here to answer your questions for the LRA Q and A. I'm uh, Epic Hero, and I'm joined by Meet Shinobi, Red in the Faces, and Mercenary Vargas. And a Slinky. And a Slinky. Yeah. Say yeah. hi, everybody, and Slinky. Hey! Slinky. Yeah! Alright, so... This thing never lies. Basically, we're just doing this for our uh, 100 subscriber special, and we're just gonna start diving into those questions. Alright, so, our first question of the night is uh, from Kino Cornell. What was the first video game console that you owned in the first game that you got for it? <laughs> Obviously not referencing the script over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. As hey, all man. of our eyes. Which... <laughs> it's on my phone, so... Yeah. Well, uh, you should go first. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll go first. different direction. Yes. Alright, we'll go uh, that, that yeah. we'll, we'll go in the first life. layer, then we'll go in the second, the, the real layer. Right. Very nice. Uh... I'm going to say that my first console was probably definitely the Super Nintendo. Um, I don't want to be generic and say that my first game was Super Mario World because that's what everyone got. I'm pretty sure it was probably Mega Man X and the very fond memories of that game because I used to watch my brother play all the time and I could never get past the first boss until I was like yeah, yeah, yeah. 8 years old. So, And the music in that game and the story Fucking fantastic. And everything about that game is amazing. Uh, not so much once it got to like X five six seven, but <laughs> you know, anime. Next. All I hear is violins play. The <laughs> teary moment. Okay, I guess for me, it kind of goes double edge. First console I ever played was SNES. The question was owned. Yeah, but owned. it's getting in that. Owned. The question says owned. Just fine, owned. fine. Technicalities, technicalities. No, you're. <laughs> it's it's not a no, no, no. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> it is details. Fine. Details. We want. The first console, console I owned was an N64, and the first game I played was actually. Got for it. Got for it. Will you shut up? It's for um for N64. I got Mortal Kombat trilogy. That's the first game I played, and then the first game because I didn't. I was too young to buy my own games. Mercenary. MRC. So, so was I. MRC? Yeah, it's like some sort of Ridge Racer knockoff. Oh, yeah. Ridge <laughs> Racer. <laughs> is that like the mini, like, the little you mini? No, it's like this really bad Ridge Racer knockoff. Gotcha. What did you like about it? Nothing. As a kid, everything. I'm like, oh, you can go up road. That he had it. Yeah, I was like, it's an N64. It was like the N64 kid just spazzing out that hat. And then you played Ridge Racer and you were like, <laughs> what? Yes. Yeah. What is this, Funko Land? I'm sure he games is in there. All right, Red. Oh, I'm next? Okay. Uh, first console, Super Nintendo, and first game I got was actually Secret of Mana. Um, it's a multiplayer RPG, a, or action RPG. It's not multiplayer. It was multiplayer, dude. It was two-player. Uh, and it's not multi, that's just co-op. That's, that's multi more than implies one, more, than, more one. than one. Also, they did. you could do three if you had the little multi-tab thing, which we never got, but you'd start three characters. Yeah, I'm so amazing. Long story, a lot of fun memories with that one, playing back with my brother and my dad back in the day. I'm still amazed they made a multi tap for Super Nintendo. Oh, uh, yeah. That for all crazy. two games that actually used it. I think it was <laughs> mostly, mostly sports games, and I think it was pretty much just NBA Jam. Oh, yeah. Really oh, even used oh that yes. was so yes. good. Right. That's what I wanted to say, because, like, with the SNES, it was just like, yes, no, I did not own it. But at the okay. same time, so many good memories. I'm really good. But your turn's over. I know. Yeah. So. Sorry. Um, we appreciate my... your memory. <laughs> At my first console was the SNES. God damn it, who's... That was like three of us, right? Yep, SNES. Right. Yeah. And we, we had just... Technically, I was SNES, but you're like, first console you own, so that was just... It says own. Yes. Don't worry that about it. game you got. <laughs> yeah, so SNES... You don't want to betray Kino for no True. And, uh... TMNT, Turtles in Time. Because mm -hmm. I actually remember wasting all my quarters on the arcade <laughs> In the, sk that in the shit. skating rink. Implying <laughs> I had quarters. <laughs> that shit had quarters for days. Yeah, because it was, it was really hard. Especially in the arcade. In the, in the Super Nintendo version, you could just jack up your credits to like nine lives. And be like, yeah. <laughs> you, don't have, you don't have to, though, because it's easy as shit. You can just throw people at the camera. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that <laughs> was an option. <laughs> but yeah, that was, I really like that. When in doubt, throw people We've at the camera. We've got to record that name sometime. Um, oh. 
Yeah, it's an emulator. <laughs> Alright, so, <laughs> right. next question. Next question. Just a second. Right. Now, this next question is from Booth Norton. Uh, what is your favorite game of all time? Mm. I'm gonna pass this off to somebody else. That's you, still, you freaking scumbag. I still have to. No, thing. that is my line. Ugh, yeah, it is. Alright, uh, right. Lee Shinobi, you answer this one. Mm, that's, that's a hard one. Just say Wipeout. No. <laughs> That wasn't Ooh. actually my favorite game of all time. You do talk about say it. Say awful lot. Man. But yeah, it's one of my favorites, but it's not my favorite. It's probably between, to be honest. Metal Gear. Yeah, probably Metal Gear. Probably between Peace Walker. I Metal introduced Gear. you to Metal Gear, so you <laughs> no. can't actually say that. But no, you no, can totally say it's his favorite but, game. Yeah. Actually, I played Peace Walker before I even met you. So. That's it. <laughs> you didn't even beat it. Yes, I did. <laughs> On PSP. Okay. Not even You're getting not into all that. You want to yes. <laughs> but probably between Metal Gear Peace Walker and so Gran Turismo 2. What is your favorite? Not a, what are your favorites? <laughs> are you gonna just be devil's advocate the entire night? I am the devil. Get the fuck out of here. Anyways, uh, right. I'm gonna cheat and say Secret of Mana because there's too many to decide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Viable contestants are uh, Binding of Isaac Rebirth and Near. What the hell is that? Near is Binding a... of Isaac is no, a... not, not that. <laughs> Near is a um, overlooked game that was on the 360 that was mainly hated for its outdated graphics, but it had a really great story, wonderfully voice acted, pretty difficult game, pretty fun. Okay. All right, um, Mercenary Vargas. We're gonna jump back to you. Yeah, you kind of yeah, cheated and passed do. it off. Yeah. There's so many I games. just quick answered because you were like, ah, I, I want to shove it down the line. Because you were like, oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, oh, there's a lot of games I like. Um, Come on. Game of time. I'm going to pressure you. Come on! No, do it! it. Uh, well, everyone's probably going to hate me for this, but uh, probably the. <laughs> Yeah, probably like a game within the Kingdom Hearts series. Um, it was the first game that introduced me to like RPGs in general. It actually got me into most RPGs now. Not just Final Fantasy, but like Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah. And I can still go back to those games and play them. And because of that game, I understand how like most RPGs work. Because I had a lot of fundamental stuff. And I like the story, and I like the characters, and who doesn't like Disney? I so. don't. There are people. Well, <laughs> there are people, but, you know, I mean, screw them. So, uh, Vargas, that would be Ace Combat. That is the game for me. <laughs> Why? Because I can shoot scrubs out of the sky. You and if that. they're on the ground, I can just shoot them in the ground, too. So if they shoot you out of the sky, does that mean you're a They They can't. He, he never it's gets shot down. And it. All right, right, question the third. All right, question three by uh, Soul Seeker D. Uh, you're stranded on an amazing island. I hope that isn't a typo. Uh, well, amazing deserted amazing island. deserted island. Uh, like, is it an amazing? And you can dessert? only play <laughs> one video game for the rest of your life. What game is that? Um, I'm gonna start off. Uh, it's pretty pretty mainstream, but I'm gonna say if I had at least a good online connection, it would probably be Street Fighter 4. Um, <laughs> I played what? that game. I played that game a lot online, and that's why I'm I'm at least decent at it now. Okay, hold and on, I hold on, play... hold on. You're on a desert island. I don't think you have an internet stable internet so, connection. So, so Street Fighter 4, Super, Ultra, or Omega <laughs> or Alpha? Probably, probably Ultra, so I can like you know practice all of my combos, and then, you know, when I finally get back to the States, I, like, never drop anything ever again. <laughs> and I always... Win like, Evo. I win Evo. <laughs> Freaking Tom Hanks from Castle. Yeah. You just come back with a vengeance, you're like, I'm with ready. A, with a beer and everything. <laughs> Momoshi ain't got nothing on me! <laughs> Yo, Momoshi. Uh, Alright, your turn to let you know. Um, for me, probably Smash Bros. Because if I don't have stable online... I have a crap ton of modes, and if all else fails, I have Amiibos. Wait, do you, do you have Amiibos? Do you have your Amiibos? Do they watch ashore with you? No, it's like you if just I... watch ashore and all of your Amiibos yeah, are like it, right behind you. That work. It is A. <laughs> they do have their There's own, a like, 3DS. It's portable. 
Okay, but you're on the desert there. island. You're missing that part of the thing. And only one game. Yeah, one game. game. Actually, Does... you can't you can't return to the states at all. It doesn't say, say you can't return the rest to the rest of your life. Okay, that's fair. For the rest of your oh, life. Shoot. So if I was allowed to bring well, amiibos, I much of it. <laughs> <laughs> if I was allowed to bring amiibos, I would be okay with this. Even if I didn't bring my amiibos, I'd be okay with this because it's smack. It's, it's yeah. the most ridiculous. I don't understand why. We can play that for like hours on end. It's still like relevant. Yeah, it still never gets old. It never yeah. gets old over here. Like stuff's always happening. In the yeah. Um, red in the faces. Uh, my answer is a uh, secret. I just it's a uh, finding of <laughs> Isaac Rebirth. Um, okay. A lot of regeneration there. Basically, no runs. Basically the same. Um, we've got like nine different characters or so. Some of them immensely hard. Plus, you get to practice for going heaven to hell. So you know. Preparing for the rest of your life, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Well. Yeah, well. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I got Minecraft. Because that shit never ends. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty seamless. Yeah. Or freaking, what was it? No Man's Sky is supposed to be like in this. Okay, that oh, game, yeah, that, that, the that game's <laughs> never coming out. <laughs> Ever. It's the, uh. Yeah, you can't. Save Golden game. Chalice? What does technically uh, exist yet? Yeah, I know. Or then you're gonna be like, okay, you're gonna spend the rest of your life waiting for the game. That's never gonna come out. Alright, all right. All right. Well, let's move on. So um, this is a question by Geek Etiquette. And, uh, well, it was a pretty, pretty tough question. Um, have you ever been emotionally attached to any characters or a game in general? Um, I'm gonna pass this on to Luchi Mezzi. Why are you keep doing this? <laughs> I'm allowed. There's nothing, there's nothing uh, wrong. Uh, and... Okay, I have multiple, as usual. I mean, this one. This one's totally fair. Okay. Right? Um... um for, for, the... for you, all the female characters that you like. Oh my goodness. You can have your plane. You can have your emotional <laughs> tablets. I'm emotionally attached to my plane. But no, oh, for me, it probably... I want to beat this game, and I will eventually, or I should have been the game I went to the deserted island and played anyways. <laughs> Nino Kuni. Oh my god. I know, I know, hear me out. I know, I know, I know. Because I know these two are going like, to crucify me. I in the state was beaten this I know, but, you know. I mean, in this country. Spoilers. If I bought it, I'd beat it. Kind of, but not I really. Like that. You probably wouldn't beat it. No, I would. Spoiler, something happened right, to somebody, but, and it made but, me happen. Back, back to the plot. plot. Yeah. Like, all the, I'm just gonna say, opening scene with all, like, I kinda was like, wow, this is a kid's game, this is, this, this is really happening. Um, cause yeah, it just kinda hit me hard. Like, I don't wanna really say anything about it. If you haven't played it, just watch the opening, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, other than Ollie, Probably Ellie, yes, Ellie from The Last of Us, because one, that's a game that I've been played all the way through. Two, it's just the fact that she kind of goes from being this, you know, wide eyed, you know, innocent girl, so to say, from the olden times before their world turns to crap. And, you know, she's just like intrigued by everything from like little comic books to little, you know, little things that she finds throughout the world. But just, you know, one of the scenes in particular towards the end, like, where she gets separated from Joel and has a run-in with someone else, you trust me, like, if anyone's played The Last of Us and they fought David as a boss, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Wait, so it's Nino Kuni or The Last, uh, last, last of, us. of Us? Both. Oh. Yes. He's been emotionally attacked. Won. No, this one's no, yeah, that one's fun. This one's fun, fun. yeah. It's, it's, fair. it's general I mean, you can no. be emotionally attached to more than one thing. Yes. <laughs> This is not fair. <laughs> this gets all of my emotions. <laughs> this gets Yeah, all and it says, says right there, there characters. characters. So, characters. Well, any characters, characters or a game. Any characters. Or a game, game in general. Yeah. I chose characters, characters, so I'm within my right. Alright, I'll, I'll go next thing, because I actually <laughs> didn't manage to remember. Um, it's, it's weird. It's probably between, like, either Lucas or Klaus. Or Klaus. Is Klaus or Klaus? Come on. Klaus, I think. Earth, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Come on. Earthbound 3. Um... Uh, their mother died like pretty early in the game, and even their father had like, a really big like tantrum. He started beating up villagers, and it happened. And then, like Claus was trying to be like the brave brother and go after the thing that killed him, and then he ended up like losing his arm and uh, getting hurt real bad. And then he got captured by Porky Mitch, and he ended up having to fight like Lucas at the end of the game. And it's just, 
it's and just, this is a kids game. Yeah, <laughs> like it was just really sad. Because I think I think the the whole kids even, game yeah, thing doesn't necessarily cover. Anything. And even the ending of the game, like you went through so much only to have like the entire world just get destroyed, and you learn so much about some of the other characters too. Also, spoilers for uh, Mother Three if you. Oh yeah, if you haven't played. Oh, yeah, played. Mother 3, I'm sorry. yeah, where's I'm the wax? Twenty more years. Come on. But no, but it's just like Lucas was like. Or Klaus, Klaus Lucas's brother and went missing for a while. And he didn't even know it was his brother until the end of the game when he when he died. And you know, I, I live with like I have like four younger, three younger brothers, two younger brothers, two older brothers. So you know that whole brotherly thing is there. I don't know. It's just really sad. But I got attached to I got attached to Klaus and Lucas because Lucas overcame his fear and he had to grow up and he did throughout the game. So. Until yeah. he died. We don't know that. This never can't confirm or deny. If he died well, on camera. The world was destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, um, and lava exploded in his face. I'm pretty sure. I think mine would either be, uh, well, obviously I have emotional attachment to Secret of Mana. Um, there's a lot going on in that game. Not going to talk much about that one. Uh, Nier, pretty much all of those characters are really great. Um, pretty much everything that happens to them, always a fucking journey and really fun. And then the other one I haven't mentioned yet is actually Baton Kaitos. Uh, oh, yeah, the, the old, GameCube. yeah, old GameCube game. Basically came around when the GameCube was on its way out. Um, so not many people played it, but it's pretty freaking great. And all the characters in that story was really great too. Mercenary. Uh, I don't really get attached. To I don't really have emotions. <laughs> yeah. I am a computer. All right. Next. Oh, next question by two emotions. Question uh, whatever number this is. Yeah. Question I think number four. five. Five. Yeah. Seven. Numbers. No, six. Sorry. Three. No, okay. two, it's five. One. Ah! Yeah. Seven. Okay. What is everyone's most underrated game at LRS? You're gonna pass this one off on me too? No. No, I definitely have one. Um, God, my mind are freaking RPGs. Mm. Uh, dude. No, no wait. wait. I used Secret no. of Mana four times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no. seeing a pattern here. RPGs. Oh, no, I've got one. Secret of Mana. Um, <laughs> Uh, Snowboard Kids and 2. Venus. Snowboard Kids 2? That think, doesn't count. I think Snowboard Kids me? 2 is oh, wait. hella underrated. Um, it, how is it overrated? Because you're you're saying it's underrated. Will you just stop? You don't nothing. talk anymore. <laughs> you're uh, dead. Uh, yeah, I think Snowboard Kids 2 for me is underrated. It's a it's a really fun racer. Uh, it has some. Racer. <laughs> it has a pretty interesting <laughs> art style. Uh, it's not the it's not the best game in the world, but uh, you're saying it deserves more than what little. Yeah, it it, it, <laughs> just, it definitely deserves more. It's got like really unique items. Uh, I like the stages. Everything is like snowy. There's different. There's four different outfits for each racer you choose, which is awesome. You don't really you don't really have anything like that on the N64, and um, it was actually an Atlas game back then. Like you wouldn't you couldn't tell <laughs> by looking at the art style because Atlas's art style is pretty like. Anime, you know, they do the same thing over and over again. This one, I don't know, and it was, it had a story, it had like a final boss, it had a ton of unlockables, snowboards, Snowboard outfits. Had Snowboard. bosses? Yeah, it did. It had, um, every, after every three stages there was a boss you had to fight. You either had to beat them in the race or actually, like, destroy them, or like, kill them. Right, gotcha. Essentially. Gotcha. I mean, but yeah, fun game. I, I really like the character design, and they, they screwed up with it on Silver Kids DS. It made everyone look evil. It's not. It's not right. Oh, that sounds terrifying. <laughs> but yeah, um, in Shinobi? Um, mine easily is probably Gravity Rush. Because, one, no one's probably heard of it because it's for Vita. And Vita is pretty much dead. Do you want to go ahead and say it's an underrated console? <laughs> no, I'm not going to say it's an underrated console because it's dead. I love it to death, but I'm like one of like the 10% that do. But um, no, that game is actually really well done. Like the level design is great. Like the controls were actually surprisingly good for gyro controls. And I was really looking forward to the sequel. But then the Vita pretty much went, <clears throat> and I don't know if they're gonna get a sequel now. But that's mine. Maybe there's always hope. No, there's no. <laughs> there is no hope. There's no hope for Vita. God. There is no hope when it comes to me. Uh, mine. I guess I. <sighs> I want to say. Finding Rider. I'm gonna say near, <laughs> but I'm Secret also Man. gonna say uh, Castlevania: Lords of Shadow. Ooh, that game one. got a lot of hate and got kind of shoved under the rug when it came out because it, it pretty much just kind of it wasn't really anything its own. 
um, because it really did steal a lot of God, uh, God of War stuff, uh, Shadow of the Colossus, like, fights. There's one point where you just climb a fucking titan. Yeah. <laughs> but I think the amalgam of all the, the things really make that a really fun Castlevania game, and I did not mind the change. I never got around to the second one, but apparently that one's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> you play Dracula? So you know that sounds pretty yeah. great. Um, I played I played a lot of Lords of Shadow too, and I really liked the world and the setting. Yeah, because you it wasn't just you in a castle. You basically traveled the entire yeah. countryside. And you see all the fucking mythical yeah, beasts, the and it's great. yeah, the monster designs are great, and all the cutscenes that are within the game are used with the game's mm -hmm. ending. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, and then yeah. near I, I preached about that one too much, but apparently it's getting a sequel that's not or not really a sequel, another game that's not just a remake. The, uh, yeah, they basically tried, um, when it came in America, they sent it around an old man, uh, basically a father trying to get back his daughter. But when it came out in Japan, they slimmed it down to make it some, like, handsome weave-esque man. He's like, <laughs> I've got to save my sister! And, like, oh, that, that sister. I think was a total mistake. I really like the old man system where he's, like, he's, like, flustered, he's, like, ragged, and everything, yeah. every little action he does, like, you're like, okay, man. Take it easy. We're getting there. We're gonna save your daughter. Don't die on me yet. And I mean, it's it's a great story. All right. So underrated game is FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I was like, oh, hey. sports game. Huh? Just play <laughs> any <laughs> goal clip whenever. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> or no, Pele. No. This is not a game. That's no, I'm just saying that E3 talk. With. Or EA talk no, no, no. at E3. Uh, underrated game. You guys have not listed any PC games. I, I don't, I don't have PC. PC. He listed Binding of Isaac. Binding of Isaac is exclusively PC. Uh, of course, with Shadow, I have a PC. Uh, it's, it's all. I mean, it's all consoles. I, and I, I don't have underrated PC, games. So uh, it wouldn't make sense. None of you know about this. It's Gmail. Uh, no, I don't no. actually know. About that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is a mech game uh, that you you can hijack people out of like mechs by shooting them with oh, like okay. this ejector launcher, <laughs> <laughs> and then you can hijack their like mechs and then you can just trample over them. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's the only reason the game is underrated. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> it's just like it's fucking great at that. <laughs> oh, okay. So when you get inside a mech, you can steal people's IFF code, and then you can just like disguise yourself as like an ally. And then just like go behind their fa base and like fuck up their shit. It's great. Nice. A lot of it's hijacking. That does, reasoning, that does okay. sound kind of fun. I mean, no, it just sounds, it just sounds no, like... Well, yeah, it sounds is, like is, a is it like, uh, mech, is it like dumb fun? The, the mech control... I mean, this is like a 1990 game. Oh, this is, this is early. This is really early PC. Like uh, Math Muncher. Uh, math Munchers? No, there's Math Munchers in, back in like Windows like... Also underrated. 90. <laughs> oh, and also <laughs> underrated. <laughs> math Munchers yeah. was the bomb. But, yeah, it, it had... Plenty of sequels ready to go, but never got, got any funded. <laughs> no, I mean it was it was an art. There was an RTS sequel. He, yeah, when it changes franchise or game feels like that. I don't know. Uh, well, right, so we're gonna move on to the next question. Yeah.